A new day has dawned, a new people has awakened. Ignorance is now a fading memory of the past. No longer will we the people sit in silence and watch our beloved Bahamas disintegrate to crime, greed, and petty politics. Controversy TV, season six. No fail, no fail, no fail. It's on, it's on. When will we, as the shepherds of our nation, stop from leading our people astray? Where are our real men who knows that manners make it man? When will our leaders find balls and integrity and stand for the good of the people instead of gravelicious, hoggish, selfish gain? When will we, you and me as leaders, stop brainwashing our people with twisted, manipulating lies, scandalous, filthy lies. Today, we are still talking about the sale of BTC, the historical political protests, and hopefully, the solution to all this nasty drama. Today on the show is the leader of the newly formed NDP, Mr. Renwood Wells. Thank you, Utah, for having me. It's a great opportunity. And it's an awesome pleasure of mine to have you here. And also on the show, we couldn't go without him. A man backed by popular demand, the barber, Mr. Calvin. Talk Thank to the behaving people. Thank you for having me. And as we know him, the world's greatest swing voter, Mr. Chelly NDP Moss. No, it's just uh, Chelly Moss, Utah. <laughs> 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 but, the, but Utah NDP Taylor sound good. <laughs> I would, I would concur with that. Sure. <laughs> but you know, this is controversy. So we, we, got go, we go way back with Utah. So. Def definitely, definitely. And, and, and Renwood is an, an, an honorable man. And, and you know, I, re I respect his stand. I respect what he stands for. Um, unfortunately, I cannot commit to the NDP at this time. But maybe after the show. By the time the show is over, Andy, um, Renwood Wells would have pulled me over. And I would be Utah NDP Taylor. That's what it's about. It's about the message. Let's talk with BTC now. We, that's only a half hour show. We got some big guns on the show, so we can't waste no time. I coming out blazing. Um, 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 I myself was appalled at, 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 at the protest. I didn't come. I was on my way to come with cameras. Um, um, I got some, 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 some information pertaining to the protest, and I turned around and I didn't come back. Now, let me tell you what I was appalled by. Um, we as leaders and respectable people have to be careful of the people we persuade to come out to protest. I remember when we did that protest um, on Salinden Pinlin, a whole pile of people were in the street protesting. We asked them what were they protesting for, they could not tell us. I have been informed and the world has been informed that several of the people who were out there protesting were people out on bail, murderers, gangbangers, hustlers, robbers, rapists, and I don't even have to go by what the news said. I myself knew some of them. And some of them told me that they were paid to come. Well, Utah, I won't get into the whole idea of, of payment, but I think what you have just said is indicative of all the problems that are going on in society. <laughs> you said we got rapers, robbers, uh, all manner of man, man murderers, all yeah. them out on the streets. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think for the Minister of National Security to come forward and make a statement like that is very, in, it, it, it's actually an indictment. Because if you are a functioning government that is doing what you ought to be doing, you should not be having those kinds of persons out on the street. And if you're going to speak to them as such, you need to, and, and if they are persons who have been convicted, who have served time, then you should be speaking about them as reintegrated individuals in the society. Well, but if you're saying that these are murderers, robbers, rapists, thieves, uh, all manner of, of, of malfeasant individuals, then what is happening is you're saying that you are uh, uh, negligent in your own responsibility because you got these people out there on the streets to begin well, with. Now, I, I will say this, Utah. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether or not that was the case. I know Renwood Wells was on Bay Street. Mm -hmm. I know Sarah Wells, my wife, mm -hmm. was on Bay Street. I know my five children were on Bay Street. And I would not be bringing my children to an event, to a situation where their lives were in danger. Well, all, well, all situations I, all I have, were happening have that would why, put them in danger. Why I brought this up is, what I want to say is, oh, be careful of the seed that you sow. 
Right now, you wanted a whole crowd to come out there to make that so so that that to convince the the government not to sell BTC. So you're gonna bring any and everybody, even if you have to pay them. I mean, be but hold on, Utah. Hold on, Utah. Hold on, Utah. So, hold on, Utah. I, I I I I think you're being disingenuous when you make these type of blatant statements. And and you know, I mean, you're probably gonna edit this part out, but you know, I won't. Uh, you won't. I won't. I, I think everybody needs to be accountable for themselves. You know what I'm saying? And the mere fact that you were coming out on Bay Street, you know, you need to come out on the issues. What Joe Blue 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 or Harry do? Ain't got nothing to do with you. You know, if you support the selling, the, not the selling of it, you come out on Bay Street now. Where are you gonna make? But tell you, I just said several of them told me. They when told they, me they, they were they paid. That, but they told they you told that. Me. Yeah, but you to say they told you that after the fact. Yes. Yeah, and you are on your way there. See. A person who ain't coming out on Bay Street, he looking for any excuse not to come out. See, if you were coming out on the issues, oh, but he was not come out. I am not going to stand for a cause. Yeah, but Utah, uh, you uh, don't uh, know. Uh, uh, you don't listen, know. Listen to me. Utah, Utah. I was coming out to Bay Street yeah, you to, was. to report. I wasn't yeah, coming out yeah, to Bay Street yeah, you, to, Utah, to join Utah, the protest. You as a you as a video man, you've been in many dangerous places shooting videos, so you can't use that as an argument. I was not hold coming out. Hold on, hold on. Would you agree listen, that? No, as a videographer, you've been in many hostile situations shooting videotape. Would you agree that? That was when I was yes much, or no? That yes was when no. I was much so, young. So, so Hold you on, can't you, use that as an argument that and was say, when I, was, I ain't going because it was hostile. That's when you no, talk. That's so, when I was much yeah. younger. No, you know, no, this now we have, a, we have a studio. We have a studio listen, now. Listen, Back in the days, listen, I had no studio. Listen, listen, we have you're a studio being very now. Disingenuous, Utah. <laughs> you're looking for excuses. And see, the biggest problem in this country is that Bahamians say, hey, we don't like how our country going. When you look at our two prime ministers, they both fail. When you look at every core issue, they've solved none of them illegal immigration, crime. Four billion dollar deficit, uh, our ability to feed ourselves. How do you continue to justify the support? You, failure? you cannot. Now I ask you a simple you question. Cannot, I'm going to answer that. Yes, you sir. cannot say that both of our prime ministers have failed because you do not know what their common goal was. Perhaps they may have achieved their goal. But let's look they, at their failure, common goal. Failure, failure, is, hold on, hold failure on, may be within the eyes of the beholder. Let's look at immigration. Let's look at immigration. Would you say did, that did Prime he, Minister did, Ingram has solved the immigration problem? Did he ever have an immigration plan? My brother, my brother. Did he, did he, ever, brother, have, did he ever have an brother, immigration plan? My brother. Well, if he did not have immigration as a plan in our how country, can, it speaks can, volumes to his, his level of integrity and, and to solve problems. Uh, no, when integrity, you look, listen, integrity, listen, integrity listen, don't come there, Mr. Moore. Yes, integrity is everything, because guess what? When you look at our country being overrun by illegal immigrants, Brian McCartney said the man is not compassionate. Any prime minister who's going to let us become overrun with illegal immigrants is not a compassionate person. So my question to you is, when you look at crime, would you say that Prime Minister Ingram or Christie has solved the immigration problem? Yes or no? When you, when my you, brother, yes or no? When you go to school, yes or no, my brother? I, I don't know nothing about yes immigration. No. All right, you I don't. Know. All right, I don't know. Let's, let's I don't know what education. their plan is. <laughs> but let's deal with education. Let's deal with education. We have a national grade average of and, D. And my good friend, yes, and my good friend, uh -huh. Desmond Bannister is doing an applaudable job. My brother, you cannot do an applaudable he's, job he's, and he's, he's, no. See, this is where we're going. Listen, People man, doing listen. an applaudable think, job okay. and giving D. Kelly, let me tell you why you sound like a fool. And I I I'm, trying, know, I'm, I'm not saying that as an no, insult. No, but, right? no, no, let me but tell you why. Because like oh, no, no, no. guess what? Oh, oh, if oh, we oh, have a D average and you're saying the man is doing an applaudable job, that speaks volumes. You just said, right? You just Hold on. Kelly just talk, but he don't listen. Go ahead. You don't use talk. You got to listen. All right, go ahead. You just said. I'm making the talk when you finish. You just said. As an a failure in immigration. And now you're going to go back to the average of the education and saying it's D. You have to grade the government on an average also. He may have failed in immigration, but he may have advanced in technology or tourism. So you cannot say the but, government. But let's go across the board. No, you no, cannot no, no, say. No, you cannot go say, across the board. No, you're talking. accusing you me of saying something. You but can, let's go across the board. You, you cannot assume. say that both governments have failed I because that. they have failed within certain departments. No, but he fail is fail. When you look at education, we fail. When you look at illegal immigration, we fail. When you look at a four billion dollar debt, debt, we fail. Listen, Crime, anybody can borrow money right. to build roads. Tourism will fail. Okay, okay. Diversification will fail. Controversy in a show. Talk, talk, talk. Yeah. If, if you can talk, give me some solutions. But go, go ahead, Calvin. I want to hear some solutions before we end the show. He said they fail, right? Mm -hmm. But where do you, how would you succeed in them areas? Well, well hold, ah, on, hold, ah, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you. Hold on. The first step is this. You have to acknowledge that the person's failed. And the first, then the first way you succeed is not <laughs> to put the same failure back to fail again. How do you fix <laughs> immigration? <laughs> if hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold 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 on. The first thing is you got to deal with that part first. They fail. How do you fix failure? You don't put the same failure back. 
That's that's the first that we how, do. How would you agree that? Hold on. Would you agree that? I agree. I agree with you. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out.